Richie Sambora and Heather Lockler may have split 10 years ago under less than ideal circumstances, but today the couple are on good enough terms to vacation together with 17-year-old daughter Ava. The family posed for a photo on the beach in Bora Bora, with Lockler, 53, showing off one impressive bikini body. He and Heather wanted to spend quality time together with Ava as a family, Simbora S. Reptile People magazine. They are celebrating her 4-point tupa and her 11 scholarship offers from schools. They are proud of her. Last year Simbora, 55, acknowledged his ex was still hot and said that the two remained on good terms because of their daughter. If you don't get along you are messing the kid up. That s what happens, he said. So you have to put that before whatever s asterisk asterisk t is going on. Communication has got to come first. There is a cooling off period obviously, as you know, it takes time. Hi, I'm Diana Falzone and this is 4 for 4. Four opinions on four entertainment headlines in just four minutes. A judge said actress Kelly Rutherford's two kids should stay with her ex-husband in France. Carly, is the ruling fair to Kelly? Yeah, this is about as complicated as a uh, case can get. Um, but to sum it up, uh, her children are U.S. citizens, and her estranged husband, ex-husband, is a German citizen living in France and was denied access back into the United States. So in order for them to share custody, the court ruled that she has to fly to France to see her children, which is unprecedented because her children are U.S. citizens. Right. So that is the complicated matter. In they said situation. it was better that the kids don't fly back and forth, that they be in one place. Mm -hmm. But the other thing they said was that uh, her ex-husband had to keep applying for a visa to get back into the United States so that the kids could sometime eventually live in the United States right. again. But he hasn't done that. And he's not doing anything that's involved with the ruling. He's basically just hiding in France and, and making the French make him do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And they're basically saying the California laws don't apply to us. Right, and even though they're adhering to that, it's been years. So it seems like at this point they can explore other options because, as you said, this is an unusual case. Yeah. You don't hear this very often, that the mother has to fly to go see her children. And some legal analysts are saying the only bet that Kelly has in order to get her kids back is going through the State Department. Justin Bieber got kicked out of Drake's performance at Coachella. Chris, is Justin's apology tour over? I think it is. I think he has peed in the bucket, <laughs> metaphorically. Remember when he peed the, yeah, the first yes, time for real? I'm classic. saying this is another yeah. metaphorical pee bucket. Yep, and right he's, going, he's going back to the old Bieber ways, and I think we can look forward to a lot more drag racing. What else did he do? The monkey thing. Monkey thing. I yeah. hope not. Let's hope <laughs> not. Yes, he could have walked away, gone somewhere else, and had the rest of his night without attention. Yet that's not the Bieber way. Mm -mm. But according to T. MZ, a Coachella staffer, was going to take him inside and then he was put in the chokehold. So on this, I'm not putting all the blame on Ashley's you. You're a believer. believer. Ashley's I'm a believer. believer. But the Comedy Yay. Central roast was supposed to be the end of all the juvenile, you know, exactly. stuff that he was doing. And then a week later, he goes to Coachella. It's like being an alcoholic and going to a bar and just sitting there. <laughs> you know, it's like obviously something's going to happen. One thing that's great about Justin Bieber is that we can all believe that he is consistent in his terrible, immature antics. And I was actually there at Coachella with him. I was oh, wow. Uh -huh. And I was the one that put him in the chokehold. And for some reason, the TMZ report got it all messed up. But oh, <laughs> we're cool. Here's the we missing part of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis Quaid flipped out and someone captured it on a cell phone. The video went super viral, but some people think it's a hoax. Ashley, are you one of those people? I want to be one of those people. I really do want to think this is a hoax. If you hear some of the words and the order of the words coming out of his mouth, it's shocking. Hilarious. And also, there was an announcement of a new project of his on the same day, so sometimes I am skeptical. Yeah, that was a little fishy, but I'm going to have to go with, the, with it being real just yeah. because of the way that it was filmed. If you look at it, the guy started with his cell phone like this, straight at Dennis behind a desk, and as Dennis got out from behind the desk, the cell phone just went, <laughs> oh. And the rest of it was just captured from audio because the guy was acting like he wasn't doing anything. That's a so good I point. think it you was know, real. I was going to say it was a hoax, but that little, I swear that little devastation <laughs> right? is your salt. I am salt because you really wouldn't think in production to do something. No like one's that, that clever. Not well, even also, Kimmel. Also, everyone was well, accusing know. Jimmy Kimmel of doing that. And Jimmy Kimmel sat out and said, hey, I did a lot of pranks, but I'm not the guy part of this. Chris. 
Why are you not paying attention at all? I'm so freaking sick of this. Can I'm you, trying to host here. Can you stop? Honestly, I'm trying. What, what do you mean trying to stop? I'm just things. trying to host here. Oh. Was it real? Yeah. I'm a professional. In honor of Quaid's performance, I want to play a quick game with the panel. <laughs> Name that celebrity oh, flip yeah. out. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. All right. Okay. I'll read a passage from a real life flip out, and the first person to raise his or her hand gets to answer. First, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Oh, somebody saw Reese Witherspoon. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Next. I didn't know we started yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next, <laughs> that was the one. Though. I asked you a question. I asked you a question. You want to apologize to my wife on camera? Then get the bleep out of here. Chris. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. All right. Last up. I'm going to bleep kick your bleep bleep if you don't shut up for a second. All right. I'm just gonna Carly? guess. <laughs> Teresa Judy J. No. <laughs> I have no idea. Christian Bale. Yeah! Yes! Oh, right. Chris. This is our winner. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It'll probably be one of the most big wins of your life. <laughs> We're clipping out our flip out game and putting it on our Fox Forum on YouTube channel. So check it out there and let us know what you think. <laughs>